This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. This is my full review of the Blue Studio 5.5. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video and today I'm doing my full review with the Blue Studio 5.5. I got the pink version, kind of look red, uh, but this device is being sold in 2015 as a low budget device uh, with some okay specs at a very, very reasonable price with a 5.5 inch screen. Uh, which is a 480 by 854 pixels, which gives you a PPI density of 178. The viewing angles, as you can see, is okay. I'm out here in the, uh, the sunlight. This also have a quad-core 1.2 gigahertz MediaTek processor in here, along with the Power VR GPU. It has four gigs of internal storage, with a micro SD card slot of 32 gigs. Also, you got a removable back, and this is dual SIM. Also, in the back, you got a five megapixel camera that uh, do video 720 up to 30 frames per second. And up front, you got that VGA camera. This is not a 4G phone. This is a, a only a GSM a HSPA a Plus phone that gives you pretty good speeds on any GSM carrier. Unlocked, of course. This phone right here is rocking Jelly Bean, and that's Jelly Bean 4.2. Uh, in 2015, guys, this phone does not have the latest and greatest, which is Lollipop right now. Listen, for a low budget device, and if you look at it, it may look like uh, Lollipop because I put my skin on top of it. And that's the thing, it runs very well, no problem with app opening and stuff like that. Now, the benchmark test on this device is pretty low. That's, you know, pretty much a budget phone. This is what you're gonna get pretty much for 200 bucks. Uh, you got your headphone, 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack at the top, and you got your capacitive buttons at the bottom, which work pretty well. Uh, and if, if, as you can see, the phone works very fast and fluid, even with one gig of RAM. And I would wish that Blue would support this device and uh, come out with Lollipop on this device and maybe, you know, bring some updates with this device. But as of now, December of 2015, this device gets no love, no love by Blue. And it could be a great device. I mean, it's a very good device. It fits real good on the hand. You know, I, it, again, I got the, the, the pink version on purpose because I'm going to give this device away because uh, I'm doing a giveaway with this device. So this is my final review with this device. You have your LED flash and uh, all the good stuff like that. But as far as benchmark tests, yes, it does. You know, it benchmarks, so, you know, just like a low budget phone would. It's not nothing too exciting to talk about. And, you know, it, once you see the benchmark test here for this device, you could tell that this device does not benchmark well. So let's go on, let's, let's take a minute and look at the benchmark test for this device. Okay, guys, so back at the lab, I got the uh, Blue Studio 5.5. I ran a benchmark test on this device. So let's go on and look at the results. Again, the Blue Studio running Android 4.2.1, which is Jelly Bean, uh, also with one gig of RAM. So that's Geekback Bench 3, and the scores with Geek Bench 3 is single core uh, 327 and the multi core of 1090. And uh, N22 benchmark test is uh, 13,700, and that's 13,700. So, in comparison, let's go down and get out the HTC One M8 in comparison to this Geekbench. And uh, if you look here again, the single core score we're running the Snapdragon 801 processor here. Uh, we running that uh, quad core low end MediaTek processor here. So overall. This device score exactly what a, a, a low-end device would score 
Uh, and with one gig of RAM and a MediaTek processor on this device, this is what you're gonna get for 200 bucks. Now, let's get back to the review. As you can tell in the benchmark test that this device uh, scores, you know, just like a normal MediaTek, an older MediaTek processor will score uh, with pretty low scores. The single core uh, and the multi-core is about what you're gonna get for a, a budget phone like this. Also, uh, you can't go wrong with the removable bag, with the removable battery, it's dual SIM, and it has this spot for the micro SD card in here. So overall, uh, I don't want to beat, beat up this device too much, but for a low budget, 5.5 inch screen, 4 gigs of, of internal storage with the micro SD card in it, the design looks pretty well, nice and pretty. The camera is okay. So I'm gonna show you some footage of the camera. So take a look at the camera footage. This is Eric again with another video. I'm filming this on the Blue Studio 5.5 on the five megapixel camera in the back. Just kind of looking at this video and on a nice windy day. So kind of take a look at it. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I think it does a pretty good job. It, it does not have optical image stabilization on here, so you may see the camera jump a little bit. But overall, the 5 megapixel camera on this low budget device do a good job. Overall, uh, for a budget device, 5.5 inch screen, uh, this device is almost a go. I wish that it wasn't rocking jelly bean on this device. You know, 4.2.1, uh, that's this device is running. Uh, but yes, if this device had lollipop, maybe you can get it rooted or, or maybe update the operating system. Yes, I think it would do a very good job. The only thing that scares me about this device, again, is that one gig of RAM. Uh, this, you know, uh, one gig of RAM, uh, this kind of scares me about a device like this, this big to run pretty fluid for the long haul. But overall, I think the Blue Studio have something here that may be worth your while. Um, so for for the low budget, under three hundred dollars, I think this is all you're going to get. Okay, so that's it. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Blue Studio. I got the pink version look a little red. I'm giving this device away to a lucky subscriber. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. See you on the next video. Peace.